round of applause who has been here before for Showdown. <laughs> who is here, though, for their very first time tonight? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I am jealous of your ignorance because you're in for a hell of a treat. I'm about to bring on Curious Comedy Players, a collection of the finest improvisers in all of Portland. Nay, these United States of America. We're going to be entertaining you this whole night. How does that sound? What's going to happen is that at the uh, first half is going to be kind of short form games. I can see on whose lines and anywhere. It'll be scored by you all. We'll have a first half champion. And then second half is going to be a format called Director's Cut, where you create some films in front of your very eyes. How does that sound, everyone? <laughs> now, you might be wondering, how are we, as mere audience members, going to be judging this incredible improv happening in front of us? Well, what's going to happen is after each game, I'm going to throw it to you all to clap between one and five, one being the lowest, five being the highest, of what you felt like the game deserved. So to get you warmed up a little bit right now, I'm gonna have you judge my hosting so far. So please, be kind but fair. How many of y'all think my hosting's been a one? Oh, you get out of here right now! <laughs> Jerk, fragile ego I have. All right, a two? Oh. I've seen it right here, buddy. Right here, right here. All right, I'm gonna get you. All right, a three? Fair enough, a little to improve. Okay, uh, you guys are lukewarm on me, I get that. It's a uh, four. All right, all right, a five. There we go. You want that clap, you get free drinks all night long. Hey! Hey! Nope, I cannot do that, goddamn OCC. <laughs> All right, but uh, we also need to have some other improvisers here uh, tonight. We had up in the tech booth. We had Anthony up in the tech booth, everyone. We also, can you believe it? We're being live streamed across the entire world right now. We did not get your consent, but we're being live streamed right now. So give it up for our video operator. Give it up for Milkshake. Yay! And you might have heard some things other than my own voice. But, uh, because what we got going on, we got some musical improvisers. We got on the keys, we got Yoho! <laughs> and then on drums, we got Walker! <laughs> all right, they're accompanying us all night. But enough of my yapping. Are you ready to meet your heroes for the evening? Yes. Yeah. All right, they go wild right now for the Curious Comedy Player! themselves right now. Uh, I was going to add something into it, but uh, we appreciate you all coming out tonight. Tonight, of course, is the Starlight Parade downtown, uh, and it, uh, so good job avoiding all that nonsense. Uh, and, uh, but I'm going to have the players introduce themselves with their names, and if they were on a parade float, what that float would be. Uh, hello, my name is Steve, and if I was on a parade, a parade, parade float, if I was on a parade float, it would probably be like a uh, Power Ranger float, and I would be the uh, the Black Ranger, not because I'm black, but because he was the black actual ranger. <laughs> I'd have my helmet off, and I would be like that. That's how it would be. <laughs> uh, Audrey, and my float would just be wine. <laughs> And uh, my, my float uh, would pass up free allergy medication. <laughs> yes. God damn. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Minus one, Nick. <laughs> my name is Bill. I would be on the root beer float. And I would dress myself up. I thought about this. 
in white spandex as vanilla ice cream and dunk myself over and over like I'm bobbing up and down inside an actual mug of root beer just going a full mile, mile and a half on a parade route. <laughs> Jay, and I would be on a student loan flow where you, you throw money on my phone. What is your most fun thing to relate? Two extra points to you for that one. Yeah, Fanny Bay flow, yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get the NIT uh, players warmed up right now. NIT uh, with a game that uh, for everyone is Category POW, everyone! Yeah, I'm going to get categories from you all, things that uh, you can name off of. I'll point at the players, they'll have to say things from that category. Now if they repeat something, if they can come up with something, or if they're just kind of stalling, it's up to you to say POW. So let's try that. One, two, three. POW! One more time, give me a lusty POW. One, two, three. POW! There you go. Be vicious to them, they deserve it. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, to start them off, but, uh, what's a, a category? Music genres. Music genres, very good, all right. Music genres, and go. Ska. Gothic. Pop. Pop. Rock and roll. <laughs> Reggae. Reggae shark. What? Ah. It's a very famous YouTube artist. Practice round? No. Practice round shit. All right. <laughs> All right, another category here. Cheese. Cheese. I heard cheese. <laughs> All right. Cheese. And go. Good. Monster. Cheddar. Swiss. Parmesan. Baby Swiss. Uh, white, uh, white cheese. <laughs> I like that you think of people dancing off. Yeah. Bill, I also liked how annoyed you were when you said cheddar. Like, how would you assholes not say that? Thank you. Thank you. World's most popular cheese. Come on. Is it? Is it? What are you? What are you? Are you standing for American cheese? Yeah. Let's Thank play. You. <laughs> you're in the hole. You didn't want to go out. I know. All right. Uh, another category here. Things in the sky. Was that? that sky. Things in the sky. All right. <laughs> Things in the sky. And go. Balloons. Jesus. Clouds. <laughs> uh, bigger clouds. <laughs> Bigger clouds, all right? <laughs> all right, another category here. Things on stage. What's that? Things on stage. All right, you love the things categories right now. All right, so things on stage. And go. Jimmy. Me. Us. Chairs. A box. Celine Dion. <laughs> Shoes. Elton John. Share. What? I can't stop share. <laughs> Every yes. time, chair. Chairs and chair. All right. Oh, okay. We got our finals chair. here. All what? right. Looking at them, what's something you think they know nothing about? What? Yes. Oh, what? what? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> I heard architecture. Types <laughs> of architecture. All right. Oh, excuse me. And go. Postmodern. Sloped. Tudor. <laughs> Foundationized. <laughs> was bullshit too, but <laughs> foundation eyes, that, that was too much bullshit for me. All right. But uh, so, because of that, Nick gets two points. And Steve, I'll give you a point. Yeah. 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 Make another word. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, we are going to get into the scored rounds now. And the uh, uh, first, first game is going to be a game for Audrey, Steve, Nick, and Jenny called Switch Your Change to Rearranger. For this game, there's, there are two players will be doing a scene. There we go. Now, if at any point during the scene I can say switcho, and the players within the scene, nope, if the players within the scene <laughs> will switch places, or I can say changeo, and then the people from the back replace that exact same scene, or 
I can go real wild and say rearrange yo, and things get wild. People started going around and there'll be a, uh, some combination we haven't seen before. <laughs> but they'll always be doing those motions. No matter what. <laughs> All right, but, uh, Audrey, would you like to get a suggestion for the scene? Yeah, uh, something fell from the sky, and I caught it, but it didn't hurt when it landed in my arms. A bigger arms. cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one point for yeah. Jack. Damn it! Uh, what did I catch? A cat. A cat. I love it. Thank you. A cat. Yeah. All right. That might hurt, but I love it. Cat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see Switcher Change or Rearrange your cats in five, five four, four, three, two, one. one. Mom. Um, yes. <laughs> Mittens is sick. Oh, oh, honey, I, I've seen this before with your hedgehog and your snake. Uh, I just have to put it in the closet, and tomorrow it will be brand new. <laughs> <laughs> when you put a uh, spot in the closet, he came out without a spot. Oh. <laughs> switch out, switch out. Jay and Bill, we have one voice expert! All right, so for this game, the two of them, they're going to be one person speaking in one voice. What's gonna happen is it's gonna be kind of a uh, interview show that, uh, happening where I'll be interviewing a person. Um, that uh, might be throwing the questions to you all as well, so have questions ready. Uh, so to get a suggestion, looking at them, what's something you think that they know nothing about? Clock repair. Clock repair. You are ready. You are ready. All right. Sam that one up. <laughs> right. And if, I could, right. if I could give you points, I would. That's a great one. All right. We are going to see one voice expert clock repair in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here for time today. Your favorite bi-weekly talk show revolving around clocks. So, we have here an esteemed clock repair expert. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Nigel Hattieson. Nigel Hattieson. I love clocks. <laughs> yes, Nigel, uh, uh, how do you spell that last name again? <laughs> Nigel, you of course are a preeminent clock repairer. 
on it. Uh, tell me, what what is it about clocks you love so much? Oh, <laughs> so many things. One, the hands. Two. Interesting. And, uh, uh, you said cauldrons. Uh, normally, people don't associate with the clocks. And, uh, uh, there, there's a very close tie between that uh, uh, witchcraft and that uh, watch repair. Isn't that right? No. <laughs> Asked and answered. Okay, great. Uh, Nigel, uh, that, uh, you have written, of course, a groundbreaking book about uh, uh, clock repair. What's the name of that book? Time. <laughs> Who wants it? <laughs> some really hot, hot gossip involving a, a huge celebrity in their clock addiction. A, 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 tell us a little about that. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> he loves time so many clocks. So many clocks. And his friend. Michael McDonald, yes. Uh, I was so surprised to hear that Michael J. Fox and Michael McDonald that, uh, are such good friends. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, and, uh, and when you interviewed both of them, uh, what, what was not, uh, a, a, the big revelation you got? Well, Michael J. Fox loves cuckoo clocks, and Michael McDonald loves digital clocks. right now. Do you have any the questions for, for Nigel here? Anybody? What's your opinion on daylight savings time? Oh, <laughs> right. Tom. There isn't a being very anti-farmer. Uh, yes, I hate farmers. <laughs> Fuck farmers. <laughs> I don't eat food. <laughs> I eat time. Uh, um, I, I know, I feel like I was buried in the lead there. You, of course, are an immortal. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> further into that. Uh, any other uh, questions from the audience? What would you say about time being an illusion? Oh! Get out! <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not buying that shit, do you? No! interdimensionally for your crimes against time uh, by the time police, but we're not going to get any further into that. Uh, but, uh, any other questions from the, the audience here? What do you think of cuckoo clocks? Yeah, there you go. That's a fun one. What do you think of cuckoo clocks? I love cuckoo, cuckoo clocks because they have little booties inside them. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. 
Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, and it, uh, feeling some glockenspiels? That's a clock, right? <laughs> Those are bells. Oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> I'm a clock time lord. Wait, is this explicit? Are you a time lord? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's like the name of the big clocks that's in like Munich? That, uh, uh, clocks. Bills are sometimes clocks, but they are also a musical instrument that is chimes. There you go. Yes, yes. Okay, so I was kind of right. This show's not about me anyway. Uh, uh, all right. How many of y'all thought that one voice expert was a one? A two? A three? A four? A five? Why, thank you. <laughs> Breadsticks, salad! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna toss them together! <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> Wait a minute! I can be much more flirty on a date than Steve Dukes. Oh. <laughs> also, burn towards Steve. <laughs> I adore breadsticks. Well, <laughs> thank you, baby. You can be go now. <laughs> Wait a minute! I can be more flirty on a date than myself in this scene. <laughs> I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. <laughs> hey, uh, this may be a little forward, but sit on my lap. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I would like to be in an adjacent booth just watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems like a point. I love how much you love our server. <laughs> 45 seconds. Like, it's 2019, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everyone's like, <laughs> 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 Thank you for letting me rest my feet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> May I just say I enjoyed the way you tossed our salad. <laughs> Tossing salads for the customers, even with a little stick to them. <laughs> I love a little stick in my salad. Uh, uh, 20 seconds. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> check. Happy It's happy birthday here. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. I, I like want to hear them sing a happy birthday song. Wait, wait what's your objection to Jen? Uh, I want to be the happy birthday waiter. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jenny. 15 hey, seconds. Happy birthday. Fuck you, Red Olive Garden. <laughs> 10 seconds. Yeah, the birthday song's gone downhill. <laughs> Five seconds. I can get this. Wait a minute. I haven't been in the scene, and his legs are probably getting tired. <laughs> oh, that's a point crap right there, but I'll take it anyway. That's it. Steve, you get enough to pause. So that uh, the players will be doing a scene. However, at any point, if they don't like what they say or something they do, I'll say new choice. And they'll have to keep on uh, uh, doing something new until I like what they do, at which point I will ding the bell and they'll continue the scene with that. Now, that's a difficult enough game. But these three expert players right here, we're going to give them another layer of challenge. On top of new choice, we're going to also be playing ABC which means that the first line that they say is going to start with the letter A, and each subsequent line will have to go B, C, all the way through the alphabet. Oh. 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 What letter are we going to start on? A. Oh, okay. A, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, Jay, would you like to get a suggestion? Please? Yeah, uh, what is the relationship between the three of us? How are we related? Zookeepers. Uh, zookeepers, is that what you said? Yeah. Zookeepers. Okay. All right. We're going to see New Choice ABC in five, four, three, two, one. Aardvarks are angry. You feed them? I did feed them. But, uh, but you messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you did a great job yesterday. Uh, New choice. Uh, you did, but you did a great job not today. <laughs> New choice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to start with B. But, thank you. <laughs> Can I have another chance feeding the aardvarks? I think I'm going to do a better job this time. Do it. Now. <laughs> with the alfalfa enlaced with ticks. Go. Everyone's gonna cheer. Everyone's gonna cheer as soon as I get back. Forgive me, no one's gonna cheer. It's your job. Good God, just do your job. New How choice. many times do I have to tell you, do your job? New choice. How many times can I look at you and think, I'm watching you walk away? New choice. <laughs> How many times do we, uh... New choice, not how. <laughs> hither uh, there, or hither here, he's never doing his job. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just wait, okay? Like, I'm gonna run up there, I'm gonna feed those goddamn art bars. <laughs> and people are gonna cheer for me because that is the American way. <laughs> Kicked in the head you are. <laughs> if you think anyone's gonna cheer for art bars in America. Let me tell you one thing. New choice. Listen to this man. New choice. <laughs> Licorice is a flavor I hate. <laughs> Michael knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Never underestimate Michael or what art box will eat. It's not licorice. <laughs> Observe. New choice. Oh! New choice! Yeah! New choice! Off! 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 New choice! 
choice. Over the hill. Far away. <laughs> They eat quinces, though. New choice. Uh, uh, Q. New no choice. <laughs> Cutter. Cutter. That's where I want to go next year. Uh, Cutter. It's a beautiful country. Really? We're going to talk about Cutter right now? I got to feed the arm bars. So, I have other interests. I have other interests other than zookeeping. Maybe I want to go to the Middle East. Tell me some of your interests. <laughs> Underwear? <laughs> Uh, undersea life, um, drawers, bureaus, uh, ventriloquism. What New he said. New choice. Very fine gentlemen. New choice. Villains. New choice. Uh, vaudeville. New choice. Vexing women. We both love that. We both love that. X-rays. <laughs> New choice. Xylophones. <laughs> New choice. Xylem and phloem inside trees that are stationary are moving faster than you. Oh. Yee! Oh. 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 Yvette, Yvette told me that same thing. <laughs> she did. She told me the same thing. Zipped her mouth, she told me. Xanadu. <laughs> New choice. <laughs> zippity da. New choice. New choice. Oh, uh, Zimbabwe's great too. <laughs> New choice. Zippers down. <laughs> say someone's name, and they'll have to sing what's going on in their inner monologue at the time. Uh, so, Nadia, uh, Audrey, would you like to get a suggestion for the scene? Yes. What is a place that would fit on this stage? Tiny house. Oh, she a tiny house. Aw, oh, tiny house. Tiny house. house. Great, great, tiny house. We got it. Nadia, uh, all right. We are going to see inner monologue tiny house in five, five four, four, three, 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 wondering if uh, I can let go of all of our stuff to Babe, fit in here. We already decided to move into this tiny house. You know, I've been washing the dishes in this tiny ass sink. <laughs> and I, I don't, I, I, I can't, I, I can't think about if we should regret this choice or not. We're already living in this tiny ass house. You're right. We're already in here. I'll adapt. It's, it's planet's race. Ow. <laughs> Get my head on the light again. <laughs> Look, join me yeah, okay. in the living room. Okay. <laughs> I want to share this space with you. Oh, yeah. I want to share my life with you. But you're going to have to adjust and adapt because I don't want to share this attitude. <laughs>
You know, you can just reach through and we can just grab it out of your nugget almost. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, I was just saying that we're such close neighbors. You don't want my quiche. No, I do want your quiche. No, she wants oh, your... I'm going to make your tiny space no, no. live in a slivin' hell. <laughs> I don't so much better than our tiny house. <laughs> Do you want to be invited into my tiny little house? <laughs> because I feel like my tiny little house is small, but it's big enough for a whole lot of love. <laughs> I 
You kind of get the shaft on that one, but it was a day of such a beautiful story. Gas happens. <laughs> for the night. Uh, uh, all right, inner song. How many of y'all thought that game was a one? A two? A three? A four? All right, sounds like a four. Four's all around there. Wait. Wait, could, could it have been a five? First half here, because one last thing we want to do is the game for everybody. So everybody get up here. Yes. All right. So as we've seen before, that uh, not only are these that uh, great improvisers, great musical improvisers, they're great stand-ups as well. That uh, so what's going to happen here is that uh, we're going to do a game called 185. That uh, so for this, that uh, what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to get a suggestion of like a noun. Uh, and then the players will be doing jokes in the format of 185 blanks walking to a bar, bartender says that uh, uh, we're closed, and then some sort of that, uh, pun to go with that. Uh, that uh, so, can we get a suggestion of that, uh, any uh, noun here? Ball of yarn. Ball of yarn, all right, ball of yarn. 185 balls of yarn walk into a bar, bartender says, hey, we don't serve balls of yarn here, and they're not just unraveled. <laughs> And the bartender says, hey, you guys can't drink in this bar. You're already strung out. Says, I'm sorry, we don't serve balls of yarn here. And they say, why not? And the bartender says, because we don't cotton to the likes of you. Oh! 185 balls of yarn walk to a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. And the 185 balls of yarn just loom at him. Oh! 185 balls of yarn walk into a bar. The bartender said, hey, I told you to go away. I'm not kidding around. Oh! All right, get another one. Another one here. All right. Not, uh, another noun. Condiments. Condiments, all right. 185 condiments. Uh, 185 condiments walk into the bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve condiments in here. And 185 condiments say, hey, we're trying to be inclusive now. Catch up. Ah! 185 condiments walk into the bar. The bartender says, we don't serve condiments here. And so they say, wow, that must have took a lot of must. The must have took a lot of courage. <laughs> says, why well, you guys can't drink at this bar, and the uh, kind of say, okay, we're leaving, but relish this moment, okay? Uh, 185 uh, bottles of mustard walk to a bar, and the bar says, we don't serve your kind of cowardliness, he says, we're just yellow. Uh, 185 condiments walk into a bar, the bartender says, hey, you're not allowed in here, it's ladies night, no mayonnaise. This is, I'm sorry, we don't serve condiments in here. They say, that's all right, we just hit a dance. We just want some salsa. All right, all right. Uh, one last, one last dinosaurs. noun for them. What was that? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, all right. 185 dinosaurs. 185 dinosaurs walk into a bar. The bartender says, hey, we don't serve dinosaurs in here. And they said, screw you, you old fossil. <laughs> 185 dinosaurs walk into the bar, and the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve dinosaurs in this bar. And the dinosaurs say, we promise we won't T-Rex the place. <laughs> no points. 185 dinosaurs walk into a bar. The bartender says, we're not going to serve you, because the last time we were in here, you drank so much Jurassic. <laughs> uh, 185 dinosaurs walk to the bar, and the bartender says, get out, Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Check out 
the scores there. So while Anthony uh, tallies up the final uh, score, uh, we're about to hit intermission, so I want to go over a couple things. Uh, we, of course, here at, at Curious Comedy Theater, we have amazing shows happening pretty much every single day of the week. So please check out CuriousComedy.org for all of our shows. Uh, a couple of uh, special things. Please, during intermission, go on Facebook. Like us on Facebook, Facebook at uh, Curious.Comedy. Like us on Facebook at the end of inter intermission. We're going to choose one person to win two free tickets to any Curious Comedy mainstay Whoa. show, everyone! Yeah, get on that page. Like us up on there. Uh, and uh, some amazing shows happening coming up. And uh, uh, we got, uh, uh, oh, and uh, coming up this Sunday, we have a special <coughs> one night only that uh, stand up from Joel Kim Booster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's amazing stand up. And, uh, check him out online. And, uh, I believe he's on uh, Netflix right now. He's uh, definitely blowing up right now. So please check out Joel Kim Booster. Uh, and uh, also, if you want to kind of dip your toes in the improv waters yourselves, we have an amazing free intro to improv workshop. Morgan at the door there, sign up on our email list, and you can be just like us. We've only taken probably about one or two of these free workshops, and then you get to do shows. It's so easy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I was also going to say, uh, so tomorrow we have uh, our all-ages family show. Uh, so you might be thinking, this show is awesome, I want to bring my kids, but sometimes they say fuck. <laughs> and I don't want my kids to hear that. So you might think, I want to bring my kids to a show where they don't do that, and my kids maybe can get on stage. Good news. The first Sunday of every month, first and third Sundays right now, we have a show called Sunday Fun Day, Curious Playground. Uh, that's at 4 o'clock, and that is an all-ages show. Uh, from this age, that's three, uh, to this age, however you old are, uh, you can come bring your kids and uh, bring your whole family. There's, there's food and drinks and things like that, too, so uh, do that. And before that is a Yes and Family workshop, so you can do improv with your kids. Uh, and you can sign up for that, and that's from 2, to, no, it's, uh, from 2 to 3.30 read for the show, so uh, come check that out. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah. For those shows, each player is only allowed one fuck per show. So we don't have to do mine up. Yeah. <laughs> of course, and right after this show, we have an amazing show happening right after this. We have Late Night Special, everyone! <laughs> They get to stick around for free, everyone! Yes, you are losing money on this deal. All right, so please, stick around for that show. It's going to be an amazing show. And also, please, during intermission, grab some food, grab some drinks, and to keep drinking, have a good time. I don't know, I said that. All right, but, Anthony, have you finally tabulated all the, the points here? All right.
Uh, let's get our, uh, our two winners, of course, the uh, directors, Jay and Nick, everyone. Yeah. And our third place champion, Jenny. Yeah. All right, so what's going to happen here? This uh, second half is going to be a format called Director's Cut. Uh, so that, uh, each of the directors is going to get that uh, they'll be directing the first act of a film. Uh, then you're going to vote on what two films you want to see go to the second act and what film we see all the way through. <coughs> uh, so, Jay, would you like to get a suggestion for your film? Yeah, I need um, like a, an industry. Agriculture. Agriculture. Okay, great. And then, like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, and then I need like, uh, like, I need like three sort of common injuries. What's one? A low back scrape. <laughs> Okay, I was like, what's oh, happening in your life? Okay, low back strain. Concussion. Concussion, so common. Uh, and then a paper cut, great. Okay, thank you, we're good, we're good, yeah. Okay, uh, great. Uh, what is the least threatening animal you can think of? Kitten. Bunny rabbit. Kitten. Uh, well, uh, kitten and bunny rabbit. Uh, cool. Um, and if you uh, could think of a... Um, uh, a superpower, like, you know, other than, like, flight or invisibility that you wish you could have, what would it be? Telekinesis. Stop time. Stop time is what I heard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Love it. Hi. Can I please have an uh, unusual last name? Melanaka. Melanaka? <laughs> All right. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and can I get something uh, from the back, uh, uh, something you would not use to kill someone? Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Thank you. All right. That's suggestions now. The directors will reveal the genre of their film and the title of their film. Jake? I am going to be a proud director of a first aid CPR training video. <laughs> and it's titled Hidden Dangers in Agriculture. Uh, I'm going to be directing a superhero film uh, called Bunny Man 2 and the ticking clock. <laughs> I will be doing a murder mystery called Mystery at Melanaka Manor. <laughs> I bet that's a alliterative. Mystery at Melanaka Manor. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a musical. Oh, it's oh, a musical. Oh my god, that's so cool. I get to play as well, which Wait. means I will take off my host in jail. Oh! 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 All right, so the lights will go down. When they come up, we will see Hidden Dangers in Agriculture. Yay! All right, we open up on a, a really stark conference room. A bunch of farmers and one farm girl walk in. <laughs> And the uh, HR manager of all the farms in the Gresham area uh, gets, gets the attention of all the folks. Well, farm, farm stuff, uh, various degrees. Oh, I've got your attention, good. <laughs> I thought we were talking about farm stuff. Well, we are talking about farm stuff. <laughs> but one of the biggest farm stuffs of all farm stuff uh, injuries that happen on the farm. Oh. And he goes over to the corner and he grabs a dusty VHS and pops that motherfucker in. <laughs> now, I could tell you about the various injuries that happen on farm stuff. Do that. But instead, I'd like to access my VHS library. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I love TV. And I love farm stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and as the tape goes in, all the players spin in a sexier way <laughs> and exit the stage. And we come upon a beautiful farm. There's rolling hills of wheat. There's a farmer. <laughs> There's not a bird. That's not in it. Yeah, good. <laughs> There's an older farmer, and there's a, a, a farm lady, and uh, they're doing a task. <laughs>
It's old and it's lower and it's, and it's there's a strain in the lower part of the back. A strain in the lower part of the back. That's Papa, what... I may be a woman, but I can tell you're in pain. <laughs> and they go to fix the problem. I don't think there's any fixing this problem. I'll go grab the gun. <laughs> seem like a good way to solve this problem. But we don't always need to kill the elderly when they're in. What? That's right. That's, that's the way my pappy did it. And his pappy before him. I'm just gonna have a child so he can kill me when I get lower back straight. <laughs> a lot of good farmers that way. <laughs> and then the tape starts to rewind in fast motion. <laughs> and we go right back to that lower back strain. Oh, my back! Papa, you're back! Get the gun! No, 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 no. They show you how to correctly solve the back strain. <laughs> nutritious for the inside of your body, but can help the outside of your body. Is this the cow's milk? Uh-huh. Wow! That's done wonder. Must be the vitamin D. Or the opium we feed it. <laughs> and just then, the old farmer brings in the song. Sexy, and we go right back to that conference room. And there's some questions. Are there any questions? Wait, so why did they shoot the fox? <laughs> well, it's literally the express purpose of me showing you that video. Also, why were you in that video? <laughs> I have a side kid. <laughs> Why is your sidekick not here? Did you shoot him? <laughs> side gig. I thought you up. said sidekick. I'm oh. sorry. And all the farmers at this HR meeting all of a sudden realize we don't want to hear any corporate trainings from the man. <laughs> Fact. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to hear any corporate trainings from the man. <laughs> That's right. We're farmers and we'll shoot whoever we want to. <laughs> Blackout. Uh, up at a small veterinary clinic. We see several uh, rows of cages. <laughs> in, in this flashback scene, we see a uh, very concerned vet. I am so concerned. <laughs> I don't think any of these dogs are gonna make it. <laughs> and then in uh, Storm's uh, veterinary assistant. I may just be a woman. <laughs> She's carrying a rabbit. <laughs> I'm concerned about 
the way you're holding that rabbit. <laughs> She tells them that there's something terribly wrong with this particular rabbit. There's something terribly wrong with this particular rabbit. I think it's because you got lipstick on it. No, doctor. It's not just that. This rabbit, at night, it turns into a vampire rabbit. <laughs> That's interesting you say that. <laughs> because I found all these bloody cages <laughs> with mangled parts. And I had no idea what to do. I was just gonna cover it up and go home. It's because of this rabbit, Doctor. It's such a good, happy, healthy rabbit during the day. But at night when the moon gets full, its little ears turn to sharp as after whatever this is. <laughs> I'm just looking for a pet. <laughs> you came to the wrong place, son. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was gonna explain why you came to the wrong place. Oh, okay. Get, why? Come over here, let me traumatize you. <laughs> you see this? Oh my God! Oh my God! What happened? <laughs> Never love anything. <laughs> In that moment, this young man realizes that if, if only he had been here a day ago, hours ago, if only he had the ability to stop time, he could change all of this. I could have changed this. <laughs> My dad said, you need to go study time travel. And I said, no, I want to be a pet owner. And he said, that's your problem. I'm trying to save you. And I said, dad, you're not. delivers one fatal line that gives us just a little bit of foreshadowing. Never let your shirts be wrinkled. <laughs> we flash forward uh, to the, the veterinarian studying that bunny alone. <laughs> I've learned nothing. The clock I'm... behind him reads 11.59. I've been here for 30 minutes and I've learned nothing. <laughs> What's your secret? Why do you keep changing? Why aren't you moving? He begins performing random tests on this rabbit. <laughs> some blue liquid, some red liquid, and some red licorice. Take, you know, maybe a little massage. Take, <laughs> as the spot the clock strikes midnight. It should go to me, Michael Malanaka. Oh, Michael Malanaka, clearly you're wrong. The money should go to me. Who you? Mandrake Malanaka. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I, I was just the stable boy. <laughs> Dad, 
I and I get a, a letter that I should be here for the will reading. Yeah. I must have whatever I shall get. I bet you got a saddle. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm late. The family lawyer is always late. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, here we are, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to read the will. Great, great. Uh, ah, okay, um, here we go. Uh, one page. So, uh, dearly beloved family, I assume you, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm a stable boy. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, Nicholas, right? Yes, Nikolai Stableboy. Nikolai Stableboy, yes. Uh, so, you were and, just to clarify. You're the stable boy, and your last name <laughs> is Stable Boy. Yes, 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 yes. we're all good. That's how last name was worked. Yes, yes, yes. Is he ended in an I or a Y? Uh, that, uh, he doesn't know how to read, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. th thank you for clarifying. Well, yes, thank you for saving well, me the embarrassment. Yes, yes. okay. <laughs> Death, uh, the whole entire estate uh, surprisingly will not go to beloved wife or son or well, whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> uh, but it'll go to my strange bastard child I never told anyone about, uh, Nicholas Stable. Oh, what? Uh, uh, not me. No, 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 not you. <laughs> For I was. The master's son all along. Yes, illegitimate bastard has written. <laughs> uh, but inheriting the money makes you legitimate. Yeah. Oh, um, I suppose then y'all should fuck off. Yes. Yeah. 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 Easy to jump over. Right. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> oh. Turnstile. Oh. <laughs> NFL spin move. Ooh. You cannot see who the murderer is, but you can see his hand, the steely glint of a toothbrush. <laughs> and you see the stable boy stabbed repeatedly. Fresh. <laughs> Cut to the next day when all of the family members are in the family again with the policemen. Oh, oh, sorry I'm late. All police are late. Sorry. Uh, uh, what is it you want to report? Uh, we found the stable boy outside, stabbed to death. So could you just do something yes. with the body? Burn it. No. Madam, he was stabbed with a toothbrush. Yes, of course, because I found him with the toothbrush still in him. That you use on your own mouth for dental hygiene? <laughs> I use my fingernail like a goddamn lady would. <laughs> and just as they continue to argue, a mysterious sage ranger enters the room and I find the first clue. What? What is this? Mints on the chair? <laughs> I dare say. That's strange. I've never been known to use a mint in my life. We know! We know! I suspect that the killer would have fresh breath. Um, mm. Are you doing my job? <laughs> The director
objectives will go for what we've seen so far and what we can see in the next round. We know how to take care of a strained back on a farm. <laughs> but how do you solve a paper cut? <laughs> Where do you get a paper cut on the farm? <laughs> we need to know. Uh, okay, well, so we got a flashback and found out how Bunny Man got his bunny powers. Uh, what we don't know is how uh, the ticking time bomb of the Clock King is going to clash with the Bunny Man. Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> we have a dead stable boy. Who else will die? <laughs> All right, so what's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen? I'm going to put my hand... I also forgot it's oh. a musical. <laughs> directors. You're going to clap for everyone because this is Portland. But you're going to clap <laughs> loudest for the two directors you want to see go on to the next act. So, who wants to see Jay's industrial video? Who wants to see Nick's Bunnyman? And who wants to see Jenny's musical? a speed round here. The lights will go down when they come back up we'll see the next act of Trouble in Farms. <laughs> Minus one point. <laughs> Alright, we open back up on that crowded HR room and the farmers are grumbling. We don't want to watch this video. Yeah. Yeah. We've already yeah. seen one video. Yeah, yeah we're farmers. We want to farm. Uh, and he quickly squashes the rebellion and puts in the next tape. Allow me to squash your rebellion by putting in this tape. Are you in this one? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and he puts in the tape and they spin out all loopy like. <laughs> and we go into a chaotic office of a farm where there's a farm wife and another farm wife. Yeah. <laughs> and they're doing the taxes. There's so many There's numbers. so many papers, and Cindy, she grabs a big stack of papers and accidentally trips in slow motion, and they go flying through the air. What? What? All the other performers are the pieces of paper. On your mark, set, go. They're flying, and they cut, they cut, they cut.
films here, only one can go on to the final act. But uh, please recap what we've seen and what we could see in the final okay. act. Okay, lower back strain, paper cuts, I saved concussion for the end. <laughs> I've got some ideas, some amnesia, some flashbacks, some repressed memories, and an acid resurgence. Ooh. And of course that British person with the Cajun accent. Yes. <laughs> Certainly will be coming back. I, I 
see you guys have gathered around the body in a, in a fashion of We all touched it and just like... <laughs> There seems to be a speck of toothpaste around his mouth. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> experiment. Colgate. Did you go back your pardon? Did you say experiment? It's experiment. Oh, <laughs> Colgate. It was probably bought at Walgreens. What? <laughs> That's a fancy. Well, definitely Walgreens. <laughs> fancy toothpaste. <laughs> one of you is the killer, and one of you shops at Walgreens. I don't know which one is worth. Uh. It's worse. <laughs> Me? You're shopping for myself. <laughs> he steps forward and gives a monologue about why they wanted to do it, but they didn't. You see, all of you wanted to kill people, kill this man here, and kill Stable Boy. You had every reason to, but you didn't do it. Uh, you know why you didn't do it? Why? Because all of you are cowards. And each person steps forward to give a monologue. Yes. In a song. <laughs> To kill him, but I could not. I wanted to kill him because my mother loved him a lot. <laughs> I wanted to kill him to show him I was strong. But instead, I was weak and I stayed. Justice for a little extra like me. <laughs> I was dead.
not seen for so long. <laughs> Just give me the peace I need. the amazing late night special happening that you get to stick around for free everyone! So please grab four drinks and tip your bartenders well. And uh, yeah, stick around for that show. If not, I had one last question. You all have a good time tonight? Yes! You guys have a good time tonight?